Hello, I'm Jasmine Poor, and I'm here at Roper Mountain Science Center in Sims Hall of Science. And I'm here with... I'm Erin Yadili. And welcome, we're gonna to talk today about electricity, which is just electrical energy. So what can you tell us about electricity? So often when we talk about electricity, we talk about something called a circuit. So a circuit is really pretty simple. It's just a battery or some other source of energy, um, some wire or any kind of conductor, something to let the electrical energy flow through. And then usually you have something that you are gonna try to turn on. So in our case, it's just a little light. Um, so now our light's on. So what that means is there's, um, it's a closed circuit. That means that there's a path for the electricity to kind of flow through. Um, so, very cool. Does it always have to be a light? No, it could be a lot of other things. You could have a speaker here and it would make sense. Okay, noise. so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, so these, um, this is a conductor letting the electricity pass through. So if I unclip it here, what do you think is gonna happen to the light? Ooh, I don't know, what do you think? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it goes off. So now it's an open circuit. Because it's not able, the energy isn't able to travel all the way through. Because there's no conductors there for it to pass through. Excellent. Okay, good. Now, we actually have something kind of cool here. This is our energy tube. And we can use this to kind of show us when we are closing a circuit with a conductor. So should we see if we're conductors? Yeah, let's see. Oh, we are. Uh, <laughs> very cool. <laughs> okay, so we're conductors. Now let's test some other things. Should we try this? Why yeah, I mean, it worked for that, yeah. right? Wait a minute. Not working. What are we doing? What's wrong? Well, where are we holding it? Oh, we're holding it by the plastic. I wonder if we held it by... <gasps> there we go. Look at that. So, so I, why, would, why would we have this plastic around here? Well, plastic is an insulator. So you're going to want sometimes to use an insulator around a conductor to basically keep, um, just for safety really, you wouldn't want to be able to grab that it makes sense. a wire. Because a lot of my wires at home, they have this electrical coating. Yes. Interesting. Because electricity can be dangerous. It you want to totally be very careful. careful. Yes, we want to be very yeah, careful. Yeah, we very should be doing electricity experiments. Should we, should we test some of our toys? Yes, let's do it. Awesome. All right. What about our balloon animal? Wait. No. It didn't, it didn't work. Insulator. So would that, it would be an insulator? Okay. Yeah. Oh, what nice. about my old hanger? Let's try that. <gasps> So, okay. Conductor. All right, so what do you guys think? We've got, let's pull out, let's try the wood. Okay, what do you think? Wood, do you think it's gonna be a conductor and turn on our energy tube or an insulator? Let's, let's see. see. Ooh. So wood is an insulator, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's try this strange little gizmo here. Oh, oh. so what do you think? What is this made out of? It kind of looks like it's metal, right? Yeah, it is metal. <laughs> I was trying to tap yeah. it. Yeah, oh, I like it. It is metal. There we go. So we've Fresh. got two different metal things over here. Should we try a calculator? Let's do it. No. Ooh, no. We've got plastic on the outside there. Okay, so we've got glass. Let's try this that. This is a really cool. Ooh, it didn't work. Nope. Okay, so an insulator. What about my ball? What do you think? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it didn't work. Insulator. insulator. Okay. What about the screwdriver? All right. Wait a I'm minute. I'm holding metal. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because I wonder. Wait. <gasps> oh, look. look so that. it can't travel through the metal. The wood creates an insulator. So yes. it's kind of both, isn't it? It is kind of both. Let's put him yeah. in the middle with our little insulated wire. Um, I found an old apple. Do you okay. think we should try it? Yes. I wonder. What do you Let's think? See. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> How did that work? That awesome. is awesome. So it would be considered a conductor. Good. Okay, should let's we, try, should we just the try the bucket? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a metal bucket. That makes sense. Yes. All right, so what do we have here? So this is just a little container with some salt water in it. Um, should we try the side first? Yeah. Just try the plastic. Okay, oh, so that's going to be an insulator, insulator. right? Insulator. All right. Now what about if we try the water? Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> it worked! It did! That is so neat. So we've talked a little bit about conductors and insulators of electricity. So as you are out and about, think about how you utilize electricity. And every time you turn on and off your switch at home, think about how you are either closing or opening that circuit.